Hey everybody, Tony D. Little Joan here with a final video, a screenwriter's rant on death in Texas. Looks like a good movie here. Uh, it stars Bruce Dern as the bad guy. Still doing movies that Bruce Dern. Um, I forget this actor's name already. He's the lead. And he um, gets out of jail. He's been in jail for seven years. His mom's played by Linda... Um, Linda... Uh, what's the middle name? Fennel Boyd? Something like that. The chick from uh, Twin Peaks. I can't believe she's that old. Uh, she, that she's playing moms. But she is. And he gets out of jail. And he finds out his mother is dying of some kind of liver disease. And uh, he's kind of a tough guy. Not really a gangster, but a tough guy. And he needs to get his mom a liver. The doctor, One of the doctors, not him, but a different doctor, um, tells him he can get a liver for $160,000 in Juarez, New Mexico. So he decides he's going to rob the cartel to get the money. And Bruce Dern, for some reason, is running part of the cartel. <laughs> he doesn't seem like a cartel type, but he does seem like fun to be in. I mean, he's just limping around in this thing, being Bruce Dern. He's a, he always plays like a scumbag. So uh, he goes to town and tries to rob the cartel. Uh, and I guess he takes Bruce Dern's eyes. I, 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 I don't know. So he... You know, it's Bruce Dern, Lara Flynn Boyle, that's it. Um, Stephen Lang, Stephen Lang, that's Stephen Lang. And the main guy is, what the hell is his name? That guy. Oh, this, is a, this is a great scene here. They're playing the music. And whenever it punch, like the, the song goes, boom, boom, look really cool. And the guy's, the guy's punch is just not moving. So this looks pretty pretty cool movie. Pretty intense. It's called Death in Texas. Let me see what his name is. Uh, Ronnie Jean Blevins. That's his name. Uh, John Ashton, Bruce Dern, Lara Flynn Boyle, and Stephen Lang. Uh, written and directed by Scott Windhauser. Looks really good. Looks really good. Looks like a classic setup. Very film noir. Um, you know... Bruce Dern's got the money. He needs it. He's going to rob bad guys to save his mother because he like feels feels like he's never done anything good for his mother. And this is going to be the one good thing he's going to do for her. He's going to get her a new liver. He's going to rob the cartel, get her a new liver, and he doesn't care what happens to him. Uh, sign me up. This movie looks nuts. It looks intense. I like the premise a lot. It's got gangsters in it. I don't know. Vote it up. Rare up vote for me. Um, first act, he gets out of prison, of course. Um, you know, it's tough being an ex-con, the usual tropes. Trying to stay on a straight and arrow and help his mom, but he finds out his mom's dying. She's got problems with her liver. Doctor says two months, but there's a guy in Juarez, Mexico, can get him a new liver for 160 k There's no way he can come up with the money, thinks about it, and then gets the idea to rob the cartel robs the cartel i guess he gets the money or some of it and then he has to i, I don't know they didn't show anything in the trailer about him actually getting the liver so it may just be him trying to spending the whole movie trying to rob the cartel and not coming up with the money i kind of think he doesn't come up with the money so but uh Maybe he does. Maybe he gets it. Maybe he saves her. I mean, that would be a great redemption arc. He dies, but he, you know, he gets, he saves his mother. It looks, it looks really good. It's such a doomed narrative. So you don't know what's going to happen, <laughs> number one. Uh, it's got a good cast. I mean, this is a really good cast. Uh, you can't beat Bruce Dern as the bad guy. You just can't. I don't know, you know, cartel. Seems a bit of a stretch, but I'll, I'll overlook it. I'll overlook it. Um, you know, it should be a nice, tight, kind of film noir -y gangster movie. Death in Texas. When's it coming out is the question. I guess it's out this summer. It just says 2011. Look for it at a theater near you. And that's it for me and Joan. Check out the books. 
Check out our other videos on BitChute and Rumble, please. BitChute and Rumble, where it's at. I put these videos on BitChute and Rumble. So just watch them all over there. Forget about YouTube. I don't know how, but my subscriptions keep going up. I'm making only two videos now. I make four videos a day, but I only put two on YouTube. I put the others on the other channel. I cut out all the political stuff, and now I'm getting almost as many hits. And uh, I'm getting more subscribers. How does that work, YouTube? Explain it to me. We'll see you tomorrow.